Now, we all know that AI agents can help you save time, they can do outreach, they can do all of these amazing things. But if you find Zapier and Make a little expensive or complicated, then you're going to love this platform that I've been trying out for the last few days. It's called Lindy.ai. There's a link underneath this video if you want to go and check them out and try them for free. Now, I'm going to show you some of the agents that I've been creating with this platform to do all kinds of jobs for me and my company in the background. And if we just take a look through their platform here, you can see it says Lindy is the simplest way to create AI agents, smart automations that integrate with all of your apps. And they do integrate with thousands of apps actually as well. So it's sort of like a, Lindy is kind of a combination of sort of chat GPT and Zapier in one. And that's probably how I'd best describe it. So it's kind of like a very simple um, way to create powerful AI agents. The first agent that we're going to create is this one just here, uh, a meeting prep alert. Let me just zoom in on that. They've got hundreds and hundreds of templates to get you going. So you can build agents without being, you know, some kind of a tech genius. You can literally just go, okay, I need to do some uh, lead outreaching and click on it and then just follow the simple process. But one thing I wanted to do was to prep up my team who are doing onboarding meetings for my platform. I wanted the AI agent to do a little bit of research on the person who booked the meeting and see if it can give the sales team a little bit of information that would help them do a better job of demonstrating the platform. So this is it here. This is the first one that I tried out, the meeting prep alert. And it says, Lindy performs research on your attendee, gets passed communication insights and by the way it does that by digging through your email um, and then sends this to you before your meeting so it's really really handy especially if they emailed you ages ago and you can't even remember the conversation and then you you know imagine having to like, go through your email do a search look up what was said in the past go through everything it takes ages so this will do it all for us so it's going to prep us up ready for our meeting so with that I literally just press add and then I can connect up to my Google Calendar, which is very simple, as you can see here. Lindy's also SOC 2 compliant as well. So if you're concerned about security or safety, then um, this platform is perfectly fine. And then click continue. And then it says, let's set you up with a meeting prep assistant. And then we can choose the calendar that we want to use. I've got several calendars here. I'm going to choose this one and then click continue. And then here we are, bang, that is now done. Now this is where all of the tasks will appear once you start getting calendar bookings in. But we can have a little look up here at the flow editor. And this shows you exactly the process that Lindy is going through to get information on your meeting attendee before you have the meeting. So first of all, it looks out permanently for any new events being added to your calendar, then decides, well, is it an external meeting or is it just between people within your organization? and then it's going to use perplexity to go and research that person. Then it's going to attempt to find their LinkedIn profile for you. And then it's going to read through all previous emails with that email address of the attendee so that it understands exactly why this meeting is taking place, which I think is fantastic. And then finally, it will send the meeting preparation info by email to the person who's doing the meeting. So really, really good. Um, and now we can actually test this out right now if we just go up to the top right here you can see it says test and then I'm going to pick one to do a test with uh, let's just have a little look here let's just say I want to do this one here I'm going to click select and now what it will do is it will go through this exact process and we'll be able to watch it doing that and it's first of all checking that that is an external meeting so we're at this point here at the moment and what's beautiful is you can be just having your normal day getting on with your work and all of this stuff is just going on in the background 24 hours a day, constantly listening out uh, for any new messages, or sorry, any new calendar events that come in. And the moment they do, this little research agent just gets to work. And can you imagine like how many jobs this will save you or your team who could be doing other more useful things as well? So first of all, as I said, it's searching perplexity and we can dig into that as well if we want to just by pressing this arrow. And there you go. So it's looking through 
through all of the details that it has to try and find some information on the attendee. And then next, it will be moving on, as you can see this little spinning circle just here. If I zoom in, there you go. It's trying to find a LinkedIn profile for them. And then eventually it will just go through and check the email history as well. So let's just give it a moment and see what it comes up with. And that's it. It's done its job. So it's gone through all the email history, searched the internet, and now I've got my meeting prep info sent via email. So let's go and check my email and have a little look. And here it is. So upcoming meeting. And then it's given me all of these details. First of all, the standard uh, meeting details. So I know the time and everything, even the link to join. And then it's given me some really interesting information about that particular attendee, which of course I can't show you all the details um, because that would be bad for the privacy of this person. However, what I can tell you is that it's given me uh, some information about their role. It's given me information about the company. And then also it's gone through the recent communication that we've had. So for example, this particular person um, discovered our platform FastSpots through an AI tech newsletter. And then they started a trial. It said that their key interests are adding team members to contribute and improve their chatbot, defining the tone of responses, uh, implementing the chatbot on their website and possibly WhatsApp. And then it's got even an, a meeting agenda laid out for me now for my team. So it wants to review the platform, set up and configuration, address uh, team member addition process, all of these different things. So this is gold really for our team member who is now going to go into that meeting and in just one minute of reading this email going to be way better prepared than if they just literally saw a name and just went, okay, I'll join the meeting. They want to know a bit about the platform. So this is really, really useful and you can use this for all of your future meetings or for your sales team. So that's one really good use that I found with Lindy.ai. Now, although Lindy has a ton of ready-made templates for various AI automations, you can also just create your own completely from scratch. It's worth noting that. If you just go to here, new Lindy, then you effectively just build your own and just choose the apps and the integrations and the sequencing, everything. But obviously what they've tried to do is just to make it as simple as possible for most people to just pick this up and start creating AI agents that are useful for their business. So speaking of useful for business, what does every business need more of at all times? That is leads. So they have a lead generator here that uh, says, I find the most relevant leads in seconds. So let's actually see if that is correct. So I'll go here and I'll just click add for lead generator. And then it's going to connect to my Google account. And this is so that it can create a spreadsheet for us and put all of the leads in there, which is brilliant. And so it's just going to ask me straight away, what do we actually want? Who are we looking for in terms of leads? I'm just going to put in, and not that, I'm going to be putting in, um, I am looking for 10 leads uh, for Python developers based in London. Now, the thing is, is obviously I'm only saying 10 there because we're doing this demo and we don't want to keep it going all day here. I wanted to get it running, but you can put any number in there that you want and just leave it to just go and do the job for you. Again, you know, this is a massive time saver. Think about visiting websites, going and looking up, making sure they are a Python developer. Are they based in London? All of this stuff. Then finding their LinkedIn profile, trying to find an email address to contact them. It takes ages. This is the stuff we used to pay people on Upwork and Freelancer, lots of money to do for us on a daily basis. You can now just use AI agents and just go off and do it all for you. Now that didn't take very long at all. So it's created a spreadsheet for us with all of the details on. And there we are, there's our lead list right there as well. But let's go and take a look at the spreadsheet. And then, yeah, straight away, we've got ourselves a whole load here, even phone numbers, um, the whole lot, LinkedIn, their email addresses, work email addresses, exactly what their job title is at the moment and in what company size they work. Now that is super valuable. People were selling leads on, like I say, services like Freelancer and Upwork. 
There's even sites that are dedicated to just selling leads. And you can now get them on demand in any niche that you want to just using Lindy AI. And once again, there is a link underneath this video if you want to go and try it out for free. So that's a really, really useful skill that Lindy has. But there are obviously many, many more. If we take a little look through them all here, we've got the ability to do a customer support as well on your website. We've got a meeting note taking. So you can literally add Lindy to any meeting that you do and it will take notes and then just send you an email with a full summary of everything that was said uh, in the meeting too. So very, very powerful bit of kit. And let's talk about pricing actually as well. So if we go and take a little look at uh, lindy.ai. So pricing wise, you get credits and credits are used each time you carry out an action within the Lindy platform. So each step of a task, for example, will use credits. But for just $49 a month, you can get 5,000 credits and uh, you can get a knowledge base with up to 20 million characters. So what does that mean? That means you can add in all of the details and information about your own company to Lindy so that it can use that information to carry out various tasks. And then also you can even do uh, phone calls as well with Lindy too. So you can do outbound phone calling and I believe also inbound as well. So it's really good for sales marketing and customer support in particular. But if you want to learn more about what you can do with a platform, you can go to the uh, Lindy Academy, which will teach you how to do inbound phone calls with AI agents and then Slack bots, you know, all kinds of different things, workflow automation. So the support's really good um, from what I found here. But that's it for this video. I think you're going to like this if you want an easy to use AI agent platform to do all kinds of uh, different different operations for you on autopilot 24 hours a day. And if you found this useful, please do press that like button and I'll see you in another AI software video in just a second.